What's up, everybody? It's a Blue Drake, and if you're from America, happy Thanksgiving! And for a nice little Thanksgiving present, I guess, I mean, I don't, I don't know, presents aren't really a thing for Thanksgiving, but today they are! Uh, Project Reality version 1.4 was announced at, uh, well, I mean, it, it was announced today for me. I don't, I don't really know if it was announced today, because it was announced at 2.50 a.m., so very early in the morning, uh, practically not today, but close enough. Um, and I'm just going to make this quick video to talk about all of the things that we can expect from what I see. Um, I mean, let me... Yeah, okay, so from what I can see, the highly anticipated World War II edition is still not officially in this update. I don't know, maybe it never will be. Maybe it's just going to be one of those things that's like, always a mini-mod? I have no idea. However, the Falklands, um, which is a mod that's very, very old. I don't, I don't really, well, I don't know, I guess it depends. On, old is relative, but uh, maybe a couple of newer players won't, won't remember the Falklands. The Falklands is a completely different mini-mod, similar to World War II, but instead it takes uh, place in... Hold up, I want to say Argentina, but I, I actually don't know. Hold up. The Falklands. I, I don't even remember. It's one of those wars... Uh, the Falklands War, Guerra del the South Atlantic War. Um, essentially, from what I remember reading about it, it was... Oh, yeah, ha-ha! Argentina. Ha, huh, there you go. See, exactly. Um, Argentina was, I guess, talking about seceding, maybe? Maybe that's what it was? And then Britain invaded them, or just, I don't know, kicked their ass and kept that from happening. So, that is what this modification is about. And it's actually really cool because the main thing about this modification is it changes combat very significantly. Project Reality has always been known for its sprawling, large, open-ended maps, but the Falklands is that on crack. Uh, normally a map is 4 uh, kilometers squared. I believe the Falklands map is 16 kilometers squared, and a lot of that is water. Uh, but that is one of the reasons that in the Falklands the close air support is a major focus. There's probably more jets in Falklands than there is in any other um, modification. Let's go through all of these different pictures. Dude, dude, just shut! Oh, sorry. God, man, so many pictures. I have to perfect the art of opening up tabs. Now, Goose Green, if I remember correctly, is one of the smaller maps, so here, we'll, we'll, we'll just go through. So here's a picture of the Falklands. Um, doesn't look like much has honestly been changed. The big thing about the Falklands is such, since it is such a huge map, uh, the detail isn't nearly as detailed. I can, is that the best way to say it? There isn't nearly as much detail in the terrain. Uh, I'm assuming because there just can't be because of the scale. Um, with that said, though, it is really a great map for the Harrier, which is something that, uh, it's not in too many other maps. I know it's in, um, the Harrier's in Kamisiya, or at least one of the versions of Kamisiya. I can't remember which other maps it is. I, I don't think the Harrier's on any map that has a aircraft carrier, um, except, except maybe the, uh, that one other island map. Um, but in this map, there's a whole new kind of carrier uh, which allows you to take off with a ramp, which I believe was first debuted in the Falklands, and I think it's made its way to a couple other maps, but that is where I remember seeing it for the first time. Here's another picture of the Falklands. Like I said, uh, the detail on the terrain isn't nearly as much, but there still is a good amount. Goose Green, however, I believe is another version of the Falklands, which has a much more detailed terrain. Uh, however, it does not have as sprawling an asset list, so you're not going to have jets, or at least there wasn't jets in Goose Green last time I played it. That goddamn barn. That fucking barn! So, there's the Falklands. Uh... There's a, well, here, we'll go through a couple Argentinian forces. I don't know if the Argentinian forces are going to be used other places. Uh, here's the Mirage. Again, I mean, it would be really cool if some of these are used in other uh, maps and missions. The Mirage now has an anti-ship missile, which is interesting, because that indicates that maybe there's going to be more, like, anti-ship gameplay. I don't know why we would need an anti-ship missile, but there's an anti-ship missile now. So, potentially, we're actually going to have some kind of objective where you destroy ships, which is interesting. Uh, we have the Tiger Cat, Sam. Not entirely sure how effective that will be. It might just fire um, its anti-air missiles in the same way that the other anti-air 
emplacements fire their missiles. Uh, and then there's the blowpipe, which is an anti-air missile that is much more like a guided rocket. Uh, it's not nearly as effective as a typical guided missile. Although, well, I guess I think it, uh, I don't think it's, it's, uh, countered by flares, but it's manually guided. So, I guess, I don't know, it'll have its place, but it's not the same. Um, and it probably, it'll probably be something that people are gonna have to get used to using. Um, and then, of course, there's the British Armed Forces from 1982. Awesome! Falklands, there you go. Now, the next thing we're gonna be looking at is the armor changes. I've heard a lot of people talking about this. I don't really care that much but because it's not my thing like there's a whole bunch of armor nuts that play project reality like mainly for the armored gameplay um and that's just i don't really <laughs> i don't know i'm just not a big armor guy so I, i'm not entirely sure um if the change I, I think there was some controversy around the armor changes but maybe not like maybe them being unbalanced or something but i wouldn't even know i i wouldn't even know i don't even know what these colors mean i don't know if blue means it has more armor or less I don't really know because it looks like all of the colors get inverted like it honestly kind of looks like all the colors are inverted so it maybe there I mean obviously I'm going to assume that the rear of the tank is the least armored so did it used to be that the sides of the tank weren't armored because I feel like that would not be I don't know. Maybe that's what it was, and maybe that's why they need to be rebalanced. Um, but then again, there's this. This is the before and the after. Uh, if the blue is indicative of something that is... Uh, that is... What's, what's the word? Uh, low HP or like easily armor pierceable? Um, I, I figured the front of an APC would actually be the most armored, but maybe I'm crazy. Uh, and then again, more stuff. I, I don't know what any of these mean. Hold up. What does it say? Hold up. What, what? The continuing the coming release will feature two major changes to the way armored vehicles take damage in PR. The collision measures and material mapping of our tanks and other vehicles have been redone. Many exploitable weak points such as tracks and small areas of glass or cloth material have been fixed. You can see a visualization of that below in the screenshots. I don't really know. The meshes now on, have only front side rear top armor materials. The se okay, so that explained nothing. Uh, the second part is a rework of the damage values that different weapons do to tank materials, such as how much damage a light AT weapon does to rear armor on a tank, and how much damage a tank AP shell does to the side of another tank. The frontal armor of our modern tanks is now much more resistant to ATGMs and other heat projectiles, but they are much more vulnerable on the sides and rear than before. While this m m will make it harder to kill a tank from the front, it will also be the end of a tank surviving a hat missile into its rear. Okay, but I still don't, I still don't understand the colors! Maybe it's just because I'm colorblind. Um, and then, of course, we have new maps. And some old maps. Well, yeah, alright, we'll take a look at those here. Uh, Bamiyan, I've never seen this before. This is interesting. This is kind of nice. I, I was getting really, really tired of deeply wooded maps. I hate woodland maps. I hate them so much. I, it's okay to have them here and there, but I feel like they're so restrictive in strategy. And not unrealistic. Like, I'm not saying they're not realistic, but I, I feel like if if you're gonna... If I dare say, talk about the fun factor of different um, theaters, I feel like the woodland theater is just... If you were just fighting in a forest and there is no breaks, it's just a clusterfuck. Like, it's impossible to know where the enemy is coming at you. Like, um... Serima, the, the the island, and you just get we get slaughtered every time. Um, well, we don't. Everybody gets slaughtered. Like the, it is so hard to be a decisive winning team on a map like Serima because whenever you happen across an other infantry squad, both sides are just like, "Wow, I had no idea the other side was here," and then it's just it's just clusterfuck. Um, but I do like maps that are more open like this because you get engagements that are much more pointed and much more cerebral as opposed to just kind of I don't know luck 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 oriented I wonder if this will be an insurgency map probably Gaza has been reworked so that's interesting um I hated Gaza so that's probably a good thing Gaza was one of those maps where it wasn't bad it just wasn't great either Reworked Albus Ra. That's going to be interesting. Huh. Any more screenshots of Albus Ra? Reworked Beirut. Interesting. 
I didn't really like Be Beirut either. That's good. Gaza and Beirut were my least favorite maps, so... I mean, they're, they're still good, but I wish they were upgraded, so maybe this is going to make a difference. I don't really see the difference here. Like, there's still the hotels and the main base, and then the two... <laughs> What's different here? <laughs> I don't see any differences, but okay. Um, last but not least, we have... Um, oh, well, hold up. We're not even close to being last. Never mind. Never mind. Next, we have the new flight model, which all I know about the flight model is FFG talking shit about it, which was hilarious. But it looks like it gives a little bit more weight and momentum to the aircraft. Um, I guess that'll be fun. I don't know how much of a gameplay impact that's going to have other than the fact that that maneuver that he just made was hella difficult I guess yeah so that looks that looks pretty cool I don't I don't really know what kind of uh, impacts that's gonna have on gameplay again and then of course uh, this this weapon here I actually saw a video on this um, they have bombs that are uh, that have air brakes on them or or, or I guess I, I don't know what the term is like air drag or something so what happens is you drop a bomb and then the bomb is dragged behind the aircraft and explodes to its posterior which makes the aircraft less susceptible to being hit by the shrapnel so that's what I've been told about that anyways then of course we have the variations on weapons is it just variations variations and more variations look at this new IDF Variations. Okay. Uh, so I'm not really seeing. We, you got a red dot on like the front part now. Apparently, there's a sawn off. Uh, what? What is it? I, sawn off SKS? No, that's not it. Sawn off Mosin? Something. Something is sawn off. All I know is everybody's freaking out about. A gun being sawn off that is this one and I don't sawn off 22 or something I don't know there's a sawn off there but the, yeah there you go um, and return of muzzle flashes oh that's interesting I forget why those were removed I can't remember if it was because of uh, performance or some kind of like exploit moving on new vehicles take a look at these T72S hold up is there anything about this Okay, no. I was hoping to understand maybe the balance. Slat armor? Was that not there before? I thought that was there before. Am I crazy? Huh. Maybe I just... Maybe I was just confused because of Project Reality Arma having it. From way back when. Huh, but that's nice. M163 VADS. Oh, is that the minigun? Oh, I'm gonna fuck shit up with that! Okay, that's good. This is probably, like, my favorite thing of this entire update so far now. And then, uh, that's it. There's some basic gameplay mechanic changes, but yeah, that's it! 1.4, everybody! No World War II, unfortunately. But yeah, there you go. Okay! I'm gonna go eat turkey now, and I also have a cold. So... Yeah, that sucks. Alright. Okay! I'm done. See you guys later.